Hello dear friends, let's have a cup of tea in this uh, tea mug. It's a complete tea so maybe it works better. becoming blossom. I'm always, always fascinated to see it. No matter how many times I watch it. <laughs> see, it is start to open up. We are very lucky today. The, the lens was not uh, getting too much steam on it. It was not foggy and uh, oh, the flower is opening up. That is so fun. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> this is the last flower. I think I bought uh, a few more, 10 or 10 or 20 bowls. I forgot how many, maybe five or six bowls and into a plastic bag like this and uh, after a long time these flowers oh look at this beautiful flower the flowers petals uh, fell off and, uh, so this is the making of it if you see here it's very romantic don't you think so to see the flower petals and to see the flower. Oh, there's water. Let me clean it up. I like to see it when it is a little bit more cleaner. Right? And I feel this so romantic. Anytime I see flower petal fell on the ground, I always have this very, very poetic feeling, I don't know why. And one day we had a friend came in here and we had some dried flour and uh, she told me she does not like dried flour because it's uh, c'est juste un sentiment, c'est l'esprit d'être uh, mort, c'est triste. So, <coughs> she's French. So, I, I, I pretty much share her feeling and uh, and from then on I put flour in vase from our backyard and then I took the flour away uh, before it is totally dried. Really it is quite sad to see the flour there flowers left go away and uh, so <clears throat> anyway what I what I was talking about I forgot I lost track so it is a double-sided question or, or double feeling on the one side I like flower petals I like to see the the flower uh, withering flowers or the flower at the end of their life. It has this such a poetic, such a nostalgic, melancholic. And on the other hand, to see the flower withering and dying, it is a very sad feeling. I don't know. I, I love them both, actually. I love the flower when it is so elegantly finished, got, uh, goes to the end of his life circle and become fertilizer, become part of the ground, part of the soil. Yeah. It is very poetic. On the other hand, to see the flower going away, it is, 
It is sad. Anyway, let's enjoy this beautiful tea. Like to see it. And there are some flowers, petals coming up here. Isn't it a beautiful picture? Mm -hmm. And the tea, it is still too hot. I cannot taste it. And uh, I will wait a little bit to taste. You know, maybe I can try now. It is very... It has almost no taste. It's very, 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 very pale. Of course, the flower does not have any flavor or does not have any fragrance or aroma. It is just... Uh, just a very plain water and uh, and uh, just a plain water that is all what we need right there is nothing better than water in this world I remember this one I had one friend 20 years ago maybe and this friend he is from Saudi Arabia doing business in China and uh, we met and uh, one day uh, we were having tea or something together we were having tea together with other friends with my colleagues and a lot of people having together and oh yes that was a, a dinner I think uh, he offered our uh, colleagues, all of us, together a dinner in a restaurant, in a Chinese restaurant. And in the restaurant, people, the service people, the Miss Xiaojie, the, the servant, the people in the restaurant asked us, what would you like to drink? And. Uh, we were hesitating because for us drinking drinking tea is so often and uh, and uh, it is hard to choose whether a oolong tea or jasmine tea or or black tea because we have uh, we, we we drink it every day so we do not feel anything special of it and then this gentleman, he said, I would like to drink green tea. And very, 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 very pale green tea. As pale as possible. And we were so surprised. You drink tea and you do not want to have the flavor. And he said, I just want to drink tea. And in my country, Saudi Arabia, water is the best thing. Water is the most precious thing in the world. And uh, I do not want to drink tea strong. I just like tea with this very little touch of, of tea flavor. But drink that water. And it was just so poetic. The and it was in winter that day, it was so cold, and all of us was so cold. If you have been to Beijing, you know that the winter in Beijing is very, very, very cold. And with very strong wind, the sand blow on your face like little, little needles slap on your face. It's really very 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 cold and uncomfortable so it was winter and we were all cold and uh, our friend the, the friend from Saudi Arabia he was very happy and he said I like cold and we were also <laughs> because uh, we we were so um, so not happy with the coldness, with the tough weather. And he said, um, in my country, we were always so hot, so dry. And being in winter and cool down is one of the best things. 
Sorry, I need to clear my throat. <coughs> yeah, drink some tea, maybe it will do me good. So he liked the cold weather and he liked the water. And from then on I had a different view of winter and water. So this is why I love so much pale and very light tea. And sometimes I like winter. The problem I do not like winter is that I do not know how to adjust myself. I am a person who do not know how to take care of myself. So in winter time I am always cold. I do not have enough warm clothes and I do not like to wear too heavy clothes. So this makes me very suffering. But uh, if I think there were some time when we bought a new, when I bought a new um, down clothes and bought a new um, uh, uh, sweater, sweater or something, that new technique that may keep you warm and very light, we bought from North Face or something, but I forgot the name but new technology and that was the first time I really enjoy winter and also <clears throat> another time other times I enjoy winter was uh, when my grandmother made me new uh, new uh, jacket cotton jacket cotton cotton coat, what do you call it, and inside with, with old fabric, old cotton fabric, so it's very, very soft. It's already very soft fabric, mian bu, and then, and then uh, already used many times, so it's extremely soft, and touch the body, it's so good. It does not look that, uh, it looks very clumsy, but so comfortable, yes. Some wintertime memory. Okay, enjoy your tea. And uh, happy holiday. <laughs>